I finally got some free time to go to an estate sale to go toy hunting. Hey everyone, my name's Chris. I'm a full-time beauty pageant director as my career, but in my spare time, I'm a huge toy collector. I've been collecting toys now for over 40 years. You can officially call me a toyaholic. Thanks so much for checking out my YouTube channel. My channel consists mainly of two things, beauty pageants, which I love, and toys, which I love even more. My goal now is to move my massive toy collection to a building and call it Mississippi's Totally Awesome Toy Museum and make it open to the public. I want to make it a tourist attraction for our state. So now I'm just going to make a ton of videos and value my toy collection. And then I'm going to make some where I take you shopping with me to thrift stores and flea markets and toy stores to let you see where I find all these goodies. All right, I went to Brookhaven, Mississippi to an estate sale. Walking up, it didn't look like a whole lot, but I had seen some of the pictures of the toys they're gonna have. So I'm kind of excited to go in to see what we can find. Well, right when I walked in, there was a lot of Gail Pittman pottery. That's not really my thing to collect, but I know a lot of people do collect that. And it was marked really cheap. So some people probably got some really good deals. And I was going to pick up these vintage Tupperware measuring cups, but um, I was filming, and then when I turned back around, somebody had already gotten all of them. So, lesson learned, pick it up, then film. And then I just finished in the kitchen looking around. I didn't really find anything there. I had a couple shelves right before you walk into the living room that I did pick up that Bradley doll. Uh, I learned my lesson, pick it up, and then film. I didn't move until I got it. So went into the living room, didn't see a whole lot I wanted. I got a couple little things. I think I got some Hannah Montana cups there on the, the second run through. And um, then there was a little bitty hallway you could walk through to go down to the bedrooms. And I know this is where the toys were. So I was kind of excited to go on and get down there to see what I could find. Now, I think this room was like for their grandkids because it had some toys, some were vintage toys, like these Barbie cases. I did end up picking up two of those. And then the next room over had a lot of Elvis memorabilia. So I picked up a couple things from it. And then they had a closet that was full of toys. And I missed out on the He-Man Masters of the Universe stuff. There was supposed to be a lot of those, but I wasn't there to get it fast enough. And this shelf had a lot of Cabbage Patch Kids. And I think I did end up picking about three of those. You can see I'm holding a bag right there just full of stuff already. It's kind of hard to shop and film. I bought a GoPro camera, but I just haven't learned to use it yet. Now this last room had things displayed a little bit better. It had some vintage Care Bears, which I already had all, had all of those. And I saw that vintage Holly Hobby, I, I picked it up. And then I did pick up that really big Raggedy Ann doll. I looked to make sure it was the original Raggedy Ann. It had the heart on the chest that said, I love you. So that was, um, I think, Knickerbocker. And this room had murals. It was really cool. So much fun. And then they had another room that was all Christmas items. Now these little ornaments were just a dollar and two dollars each, so I picked up several of those. Now these on the wall, I think were the Catherine's collection, and they were like fifteen dollars each. So I didn't want to spend quite that. They were great, but I just didn't want to spend it that day. That one was really cute. So let's look at all my toy finds I did get. Three Cabbage Patch Kids in really good shape for $25 for all three. And they're worth about $20 each, so that's about $60. And I got this little He-Man Masters of the Universe vehicle for $3. It's worth about $10. Then I got a Smurfette for a dollar. She's worth $4. And two Elvis ornaments for $3 each. They're worth about $5 each. I got the two vintage Sesame Street cars for a dollar each. They're worth three dollars each. And this vintage Pac-Man for three dollars. He's worth about fifteen. And Snoopy was five. He's worth fifteen. I got eleven Christmas ornaments for a dollar each. One of them was two dollars each. So they're all worth at least two dollars in my opinion. So that's about twenty-two dollars in Christmas ornaments I got. Then I got this old Barbie case for $5, and I think it's worth at least $10. And then I got this Holly Hobby rag doll for $6, and she's worth about $15. I got the Bradley doll for $10, and she's worth $20. Got a Today Show cookbook for $3, worth $7, and a Millennium Cabbage Patch Kid in the box for $20, and it's worth $20. Two gold frames for $6, they're worth $10. I got a My Little Pony stable for $15, it's worth $20, and I got this Barbie box for $5, it's worth $10. And I got this big Raggedy Ann doll for $25. She's worth $50. And I got a Cabbage Patch Kid 
tricycle for $12. eBay has it listed at $45, but I figure it's worth about $30. Then I got these two Carol Burnett DVDs for a dollar each. I think they're worth about $4 each. Then I got five CDs for a dollar each. They're worth about a dollar each, so that's $5. Then I went back in and got a few more things. I got the Hannah Montana set of four cups for $2. I think that's worth at least $10 because it's a full set and they're a hologram. They kind of change when you turn them. I got this um, really cool little blue necklace for $3. It's all gemmed in rhinestones, and it's probably worth about $5. Got this set of Cinderella dice from Disney World for a dollar. I figure they're worth at least five since they're from the parks. And then I got a little Hannah Montana lock. It's still in the package for a dollar. I figure it's worth about $5. Got these old eight track tapes for a dollar each. I figure they're worth about $3 each because it's Grease, Sonny and Cher, and the Carpenters. They're pretty popular. Got these martini string lights for $2. I figure they're just worth about $4. Then I got a Reba McIntyre um, book for $2. It's probably worth about $5. Uh, I got an old cookbook that my mom used to have in the 70s for $2, and it's probably worth about 5 They gave me a little break. They were all $3, and I think they charged me $2 at the table. I got this old People magazine with 100 of the greatest TV stars for 2 It's worth about 5 and the same with this Elvis book, $2, worth at least 5 It might be worth more than that. Then I got this little religious statue for my nephew PJ for 5 and I won't value it because it's going to be a Christmas gift. All right, so all together, I spent $189 at the estate sale. When I add it all up, its total worth is $405. So that gives me a profit of about $216. Well, I hope you enjoyed our video today. It's from a series we're making on YouTube called Value in My Toy Collection. If you did enjoy it, just hit subscribe. We're gonna make tons of other videos showing you the toys we find and part of my toy collection. So thank you so much for watching.